It's fun. The colors are great. The storyline's fantastic. Great outfits. The man chasing after the girl. Just a fantastic suspense story. And it was a great script. My name is Christina Putnam, and this is my retrospective. I fell in love with classic movies when I saw the movie The Major and the Minor. Maybe I could sit down now, huh? And when I saw that movie, I saw Ginger Rogers, and she could play all these different parts. She was a young girl. She got on the phone and pretended to be her mom. Uh, I am Mrs. Applegate. And I thought, hey, she can do that. She can do all those characters. So because of that film, The Major and the Minor, I was able to embrace my inner mimic. I also love musicals, and Singing in the Rain is one of my favorites. Debbie and Jean and Donald dancing and singing all over the place. One of my favorite songs is Good morning, good, good morning. morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. I used to sing that to my son in the morning when I wake him up for breakfast for school. Classic films often touch my heart, and there are some movies that I love to rewatch, but I know there's that moment that's going to make me tear up and cry, but yet I still watch them. Casablanca is one of them. When they're walking away at the end of the film, Humphrey Bogart says to Claude Rains, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. There are just a lot of films that touch my heart. Charade, because it's such a lighthearted romp. Stalag 17, a great vehicle for William Holden. One of the greatest moments in Stalag 17, I think, is when William Holden's laying there in that nasty old bunk bed, and he sees the shadow of that light cord swinging, and the light comes on in his head. And that's the end of Peter Graves. Night of the Hunter. I love to take that DVD and show it to somebody who's never seen it. Night of the Hunter was Charles Lawton's directorial debut in a film. It was a great script. She'll not be back. I reckon I'm safe in promising you that. Robert Mitchum was just at one of his menacing bests, almost as scary as Cape Fear. But the, the performance that gets me is Lillian Gish. I'm a strong tree with branches for many birds. And the story about the children, kind of like Hansel and Gretel about frightened children. And then they finally land at that safe haven with Lillian Gish. And it was total acceptance, total love, total confidence in who she was.